All right, number six, a plane can travel up to 4,680 miles per hour. How many miles can the airplane travel in 10 seconds? I think I'm going to use uh, dimensional analysis to solve this problem. Um, we're going to convert 10 seconds into miles with the unit conversion of 4,680 miles per hour. Well, first, I think I'm going to convert seconds to minutes and then minutes to hours. and then one hour the plane can travel 4,680 miles and so the seconds cancel, the minutes cancel, and the hours cancel and we're left with miles survives so 4,680 times 10 over 3,600 divide by 100 and divide this and get 13 miles which is answer choice C. Number seven. Uh, in the diagram above, let's draw it real quickly. All right, so in this diagram, Fi has a length of 32. Well, there's 20 right there, so that means Y must be 12. What is the length of the line segment whose endpoints are H? There's one endpoint of the line segment. And the midpoint of Fg. The midpoint of Fg is right here. Half of 12 is 6, so each of these are 6. So this segment has a length of 6 plus another 6, which is 12. Answer choice B. Let's look at number 8. Uh, we need to solve an equation, so let's write the equation real quickly. And probably the best way to solve this would just be to cross multiply. So the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. and we will distribute and I think I will subtract 4x subtract 12 so x is negative 12 answer choice A alright number 9 the percent increase from 6 to 16 so we should multiply 6 by something to make it equal 16 and this will help us find the percent increase well what number can we multiply 6 by to get it to equal to 16 well that's just the ratio of 16 and 6 so this number 8 thirds uh, can help us determine the percent increase from 6 to 16 we're going to use that same number to increase 12 and the 12 and the 3 cancel, 4 times 8 is 32. So that same percent increases, increase raises 12 to 32. What number? 32, answer choice D. So we really didn't have to know what the percent increase was. We just needed to know that it was e the same percent increase in both situations. Let's look at number 10. I think I'm going to just try some numbers for A and B. And A over B in this case would be two-fifths. So let's see if A works. Is two less than two-fifths? No. Is B over A, which is five-halves, is that less than two-fifths? No. Is one over A over B? Well, that's the same as B over A. So these are equivalent. They're both incorrect. D is A over 2B. That's 2 over 10. That's 1 fifth. Is that less than 2 fifths? Yes. Answer choice D is correct. And we could try E just to make sure. 2A over B would be 4 fifths. That's not less than 2 fifths. So we know that answer choice D is definitely correct.